then now let's move forward now. Let's break down your vision of club music. Uh -huh. Like, f all the small let's talk. Get it. Talk to him. F all the small talk. Kirk, are you the king of Jersey Club? Are you man? the king of Jersey Club? Is you the king, man? The Jay Z of Jersey Club, man. Woo! It's the Jay Z, the Jay -Z of Jersey you're Club. The, you're the goat. Killer. Yeah, that's facts, bro. I, ch I changed the world. Explain to us how and when. The why? World. Explain why, who, and when. Happened two times. First off, first person to Same, actually. Name the year. All right, let's take it back to 07. 06, 07. <laughs> first person to rap on Jersey Club because I thought about. Why it, I just remember thinking this. I'm I'm listening to club beats and I'm looking at the numbers. And I remember watching Little Man videos, watching Jay Hood. These niggas is platinum. Yeah. But it's all samples, it's all beats. It's not really original and, and, music. And you couldn't yeah. really YouTube wasn't monetized back then, but yeah. I'm just thinking in my head, like, what if you made an original beat? And what if you made it a song? I gave it a song structure. Mm. So I just was experimenting and started rapping on it. That's 06, 07. When I made Shaking My Dreads, third, Shaking My Dreads was yeah. crazy. The, club, the third shit. verse of Shaking My Dreads is On the club, yeah. Shaking My Dreads. Stony bows and busting these heads. Yeah, you know that me? was my shit. Word up. And um, I always tried to interject club music and house music into everything we did. Chris Groove was a house record. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was the first time I did. That was 07. But that was kind of too early for it to be a thing. Sometimes you'd be too ahead of your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you were wearing skinny jeans during the baggy era, during yeah. the Omavi era. You were done. You were done. You done up. You feel me? Sometimes you just be too ahead it, of your it time. Was, that was me. I was wearing the skinny jeans. Yeah. The, 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 the niggas clowned me in 05, 06. They was like, what the fuck you yeah. got on, niggas? You feel me? And, and, and like I said, everything is time stamped. You feel me? You can go back on my YouTube. My channel's still up. I remember the first day I uploaded a club trap I, track I rapped on and the, did 100K on YouTube back then. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, this a wave. Mm. You feel me? So that was 07, 06, 05-ish. You feel me? Now, fast forward. Uh, I want to say 2017. I'm at a panel with all the radio DJs, High 97, mm. a bunch of niggas, right? Dude. And they doing this panel. Like, who the top five in Jersey? They can't come up with a top five in 2017. Mm -hmm. They can't get past Freddie Wapa Albie and Surf. Right, right. So the DJs, like, laughing in our face. They like, come on, bro. Ain't no top five in Jersey, man. Y'all niggas don't got no sound. Y'all y'all biters. Like, Dang. they saying this to all. And I'm, and I'm sitting there, not as a musician at the time, as a doing fashion yeah. but I'm steaming inside at this round table like oh we getting played right so I'm like hold up hold up man we got a sound they're like what the fuck does he sound like I'm like club music laughed in our face ah! and they're going crazy <laughs> so I remember thinking this, this end of 2017 I'm thinking like alright I'm gonna go home and show these niggas I'm like Killer Kirk about to come back I'm about to show y'all niggas some shit you feel me so I go home and I find this beat Heartbroken uh, produced by Slink J Hood Natus mm -hmm. and Joker and I, and I redo Heartbroken, mm -hmm. rapping on it, though. You feel me? Shoot a video for it and everything. That shit start taking off. And then um, when I do It's Time, shout to Wala, that shit hit the radio the very next day. Mm -hmm. It's time. It's time. You was one of the first people that caught me. I about to say I was yeah. me. I was yeah. the guy. And I was waiting for you to say, I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah. Yeah. And I never heard my voice on the radio before. Oh, yeah, bro. Your shit right on right now, bro. Look at this shit, bro. I'm just post. I just reposted yeah, it. Yeah, Louis was, was like, like, what you talking about, bro? You was like, what you talking about? Bro? Like, what you talking about? Know. I'm like, bro, the shit just is out right now. Let's put, I'm just, I just reposted it up on my page. Go Facts. Crazy. So, take a trip back. We didn't have no top five in Jersey at that moment. Mm -hmm. We didn't have nobody in Jersey on the radio at that moment but mm -hmm. our DJs. Now I got this record that's playing every single day. Every mm -hmm. single Three day. Three times a day, four times. Yeah, New yeah, two, it was blah, crazy. Blah, blah, blah. This shit was going crazy. So man. this shit blowing my mind. Think it about like, it. I wasn't even rapping no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like, I'm like, oh, and everybody like, this that sound. This what Jersey sound like. So now I'm very pop my shit. Everybody Hot 97 like, yeah. Y'all saying we ain't had no sound? This is what the fuck Jersey sound like. I said that on every record, you feel yeah. me? And that is what motivated me and boosted me. Yeah, back like, this was Jersey sound like. Yeah. This is what a unicorn looked like. This is what a like. Facts. This is what Jersey sound like. I'm like, ooh, my boy going yeah. crazy. And so when the world, and, and they started embracing the club sound with the rapping on it, mm. that's what boosted me back to, all right, we back. You feel me? We on it. Do you feel like you get the credit for being one of the pioneers of that sound? I do for those who know, but I'm going to keep it a buck. And I've always been like a nigga who like, you going to know, you feel me? I'll show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. But now I'm starting to learn, you really got to tell niggas. They try to rewrite history. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? They try to put me up against different people. Like, oh, such and such did this and such and such did that. No. I know why I did it first because I remember thinking about it. It didn't exist. So I invented it type shit. You, 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 the, you were for sure the inventor. Let me ask you a question, though, outside of that. Like, you know, the Philly came here and they and Drewski and them Drewski all of us saying like that one, he man. was like yo I'm he's the king of Philly he was like I'm the king of I'm the king of, of Jersey yeah I, what is, the, the Philly rare. nigga yeah, what's his yeah, name yeah. two rare and, and, I'm like, and then you the first nigga I'm like I'm like and in my head I said I know Kirk ain't about to stand for this shit yeah you know hell no you know, 
Yeah. What's your thoughts about that? And then, then where do you where do you stand at with Drewski now after that conversation? I mean, to, for, to me, I think Drewski thought that was going to be a viral moment and everybody was going to, you know, talk about it and it really flopped. It was like, to me, that was corny. I still fuck with Drewski, though. Drewski the bro. Yeah. But I think that was corny. But secondly, if we want to talk about Philly rapping on club, go back to my YouTube. I was the first person to bring club rap to Philly. I had a song called Get With Me that I shot in Philly. Everybody mm, what in year? My, what year you think? I'm that was, I want you I need yeah, to yeah, them. We, we're talking twenty nineteen before Shake That came. Before the Philly Club came out, yeah. I went down there and shot a club video rapping on club in Philly. Everybody in my video is Philly people and Philly dancers. But have they had, did they have something before that? They ain't had that before me, bro. Shout out to DJ Crazy. DJ they ain't Crazy had no really Philly movie. How you heard him? They ain't had that, man. Had, they they ain't had that. down there and shot the video. They was like, this the way. Yo, you bringing this shit back. And then that's when I learned that Philly had a, had a club music scene. I mean, I always knew a little bit yeah. of it. I'm you know, saying they did have a, Philly, a club they, music scene. They have before. a club music scene. But as far as rapping on club, that got cultivated after I came down there. Shout out to my boy DJ, DJ Crazy. DJ Crazy really helped me. He's a producer. He was the one who really brought them to the studio. And, and he's from Philly? He's from Philly, yeah. But he be in Jersey, too. So he, crazy, I tell you, he was influenced by Jersey. Mm. He'll tell you that out of his own mouth. So for everybody in Philly who tried to say there was some biting, whatever, whatever going on, I fuck with Philly Club, DJ Dama Cuts, RL. Hey, but, yo, this going to be this gonna be one of the facts. Yeah, you but feel me? Oh, yeah. We it's need this. Stomp this. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck was, all the Chad, small Chad talk. Was Chad, Chad B was one of the first rapping on Club Beats. He was one of the first. He was one of the first. Yeah, he was one of the first. I, I always give Chad that. Chad B, Chad yes, coming sir. up in a couple weeks. So shout yeah, out to Chad, Chad B. Chad B was definitely one of the first. Chad, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, it, it was a movie. It, it, it. And it was a big, it was a big, it was a big situation with Chad B. Let's keep it G. Yo, keep it, it, it was, it was more like Chad, Chad, Chad took that record around the world. You feel me? And just for people who always try to put me and Chad B against each other, Chad is in all my old videos. I'm in the Hit It and Hit It yeah, remix. Yeah. I was in the, I was in the Hit It video. Yeah, yeah. So like, I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was there. You feel you me? Was like, there? what you video? Yeah, you was in? Oh, you yeah, was. Yeah, no camera time. You can't yeah. talk Jersey Club rap if you don't talk Chad B too. Yeah. Chad, 